as we look at the second half of this weekend, we are watching the tropics. As we're saying, this cluster of storms making its way across the Yucatan Peninsula, and it looks like it's going to move northwest as it crosses the peninsula. And if it holds together, then we could see this develop into a tropical system and head for the Texas coast. If it doesn't develop, it will still be a large area of showers and thunderstorms moving into the Texas coast, which means we could see some flooding for Texas and Louisiana as they already have plenty of saturated ground thanks to the rains last month. Now for us here in Alabama, that isn't going to be affecting us, but we do have high pressure in place, which is pushing that system off to the west. We're going to see mainly dry conditions overnight tonight as that high pressure slides in from the east coast in Georgia. During the afternoon hours tomorrow, we should see mainly sunny skies. A few clouds in there and an isolated storm is still possible, but Again, less coverage than we've seen the past several days here in central Alabama is what we're expecting for our Sunday afternoon. As we head into the beginning portions of the work week, that high pressure will continue to slide into place, bringing us dry, sunny conditions, allowing our temperatures to warm up into the mid-90s for us Monday and on Tuesday. And then as we go into the middle portions of the work week, we'll see the extra moisture from that tropical system pushing to the west and then to the north across the area. And uh, we should stay dry here in Alabama, but you can see this in Michigan. Mississippi, Alabama, or Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, and Texas will see plenty of rainfall thanks to this tropical system as it makes its way through. Here in Alabama, again, we will stay dry thanks to the high pressures situated over us as we go into the first portions of the work week. Now, all this dry, warm weather means that we need to be taking care of our bodies. Temperatures are going to be in the mid-90s, and the heat index will be in the upper 90s, even the triple digits. So this means that we need to be drinking plenty of water, limiting our outdoor activity, especially in the afternoon hours when it is most heated. You can go out in the mornings or in the evenings when it's a little bit cooler outside, but that, e that afternoon portion is going to be very warm, so limit your time out then. And also check on the elderly and pets. They need plenty of water and to be kept cool as well, so do that and reach out to those around you who may need some help. 70 degrees overnight tonight, partly clear and muggy conditions for us, similar to what we've seen the past several nights. So another warm night is expected for us. And then tomorrow, 93 degrees for the high temperature. So very warm conditions, lots of sunshine, hot and humid, just a stray chance for an isolated storm. But for most of us, we are going to stay dry during the day on Sunday. As we hit the beginning portions of the work week, we're going to see very warm conditions, 95 degrees for the high temperature on Monday. Plenty of sunshine means that will feel like the triple digits. It could feel like 100, 101, even 102 degrees is what it'll feel like outside on Monday afternoon. So again, take care because it will be very warm. The warmth continues for us on Tuesday as well. High temperatures about 94 degrees then. And then we'll finally see the high pressure begin to break down, allowing some convective activity to develop across the area. A few extra clouds and an afternoon thunderstorm is possible. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and into Saturday as well as we slowly see temperatures drop just a bit back down into these lower 90s. Still warm, but thanks to the extra cloud cover, we'll be just a bit cooler.